Hi guys. So I wanted to talk to you about being out here in these streets, being a broker, actively using my license. Um, people who started with me, they followed my journey when I was just trying to pass the exam. Now I'm taking you on the journey with me of how it is to be out here selling life insurance. One of the main things you definitely want to consider when you're out there selling is that you don't always um, get your clients just from door knocking. You are going to get your client by being actually active, proactive everywhere you go. I take my cards everywhere I go and I pass them out. If I'm in a grocery store, I read the room. So one of the main things about people that I'm learning and that I've learned over the years, people just want you to be normal. All people do not want you to pitch anything to them. Sometimes they just want you to be a normal person saying, hey, is it all right if I give you a card? This is what I do. And I also offer this. Thank you. Give me a call if you need me. Or if you give them the card and the door open and they say, oh, I'm looking for insurance. You would do one or two things. You would say, okay, make sure you call me. Or you would say, do you mind if I get your number so I can follow up when you're ready? And you get their number and then you ask them, when would be a good time for me to call you? Because you're going to find out that a lot more people than you expect are out here really looking for life insurance. They're tired of those commercials, those gimmicks. They're tired of seeing you can get a million dollar policy for $39.99. They know that there's something to that. So they automatically know over experience and years, hey, that's not the route to go to get my insurance. So if I see a physical person in my face that's telling me that I sell life insurance, I'm going to go with that person. One, because apparently we have some kind of dialogue that we already started talking. I feel them out. I got their card. And why not? And the person told me they can give me a quote. Why not? A lot of times, if you just let people know this is what I do, you'll be surprised how much business you can get. Another way that I get business, I have a car magnet on my car, and it talks about me selling life insurance, and it also opens the opportunity to those that are thinking about selling life insurance. On my car magnet, I say, are you interested in being a life insurance agent? Are you interested in selling life insurance? So that has opened a door where a lot of people have been following up with me because they saw my car magnet on the highway or at the store. They wrote the number down and they said, hey, you know, my name is so-and-so. I saw your car, but I wasn't even in the car. I've had people do that. And they said, I saw your car magnet and I decided to call you. People are used to people just peopling. They just want you to be normal, laid back, and number one, <clears throat> show some type of knowledge in what you do. Don't be afraid to talk to people because people is how you're going to make your money. So if in order for you to make money, you got to communicate with people and you're scared every time you get in front of somebody, you need to work on that because what you're doing, you're making yourself like unable to be touched. And you know, I'm telling you, people really feed off of your confidence. Even if you don't know everything, talk about what you do know and understand that if your company structure is set up correctly, use the person that does know. Our company structure is set up where we have a product specialist. That product specialist has over 20 years experience. They have sold over a hundred and some policies. They know the carriers. They have quoted to so many people that they pretty much can tell what kind of medication the person is on and get an idea of what company would represent them. That's how our company is set up. So I always tell the truth. I always let a person know, listen, such and such is the case, but if I can't figure it out, I got a product specialist that I call immediately. And this person has experience <coughs> and they're qualified 
to help me find the best quote for you. Another thing I like to say, which is even better is, we have product specialists 24 hours on hand, so we will find you the best policy to fit your needs. The number one thing you wanna talk like it's more than you. I'm sorry, but as great as you think you are, people like to know that there is a collective group of people that is concerned about their situation. They like to know that there is a group of people that have qualified specialists to not only get them the answers that they need, but to also make sure that when they walk away, they have exhausted all resources. And that's what you wanna help people to understand. We're gonna exhaust all resources to make sure not one, that you got all the answers you need, but two, that you got the coverage that you deserve. Another thing that I offer, because of my product specialist, I offer to look at old policies. So if someone says, oh, I already got a policy. I understand that and I wanna let you know. I am able to look at all old policies and review them with my specialist to make sure you got the best coverage and that you're not getting ripped off. One word that people don't like to hear, ripped off. Another thing, the best. They like to hear they're getting the best. If you can guarantee a person is not getting ripped off and you can get them the best, they're gonna stick with you because what you did, you just opened a door for their understanding and they feel like you can identify what they've been through or what they don't want to go through. Even when they look at their monthly payments every month, there's deep down inside some kind of question of what I can get better and can I skim some of this money off. In the event that you do meet somebody with a good policy, just be honest. Just say, oh wow, you have a really good policy. They took good care of you. Well, guess what? If you have any children, relatives, friends, please refer me. Don't leave it where there's no more communication because at the end of the day, people like to be the savior. And this is another thing. Always remember, there are a lot of good-hearted people out there that wanna help refer people to good resources. And if they can step up to the plate and say, hey, I know a young lady or a young man that can get you right. I already got a good policy, of course, but this person, they know what they're talking about. I wanna recommend them. That makes them feel good. So this video is basically about being a broker or an agent out here and being able to use your resources and not being so smart that you don't wanna use your collective group of specialists on hand. It's, it's so vital that people understand that you're not going off the top of your head, that you are really taking inventory of their situation and that you wanna get them the best coverage. So I hope this helped. Um, I will be definitely posting more. I've been a little slow on posting videos, but I'm gonna pick it up a little bit more. Thank y'all so much for watching and please make sure you subscribe.